gonna grow up fine a toy's wrecking. The toy giant is singing a more somber tune these days as they file for Chapter 11 bankruptcy and a chance to make their organization profitable again. But it doesn't mean that they're not going to go out of business. Online giants and all-in-one shop stops have brick and mortar crumbling. Consumer expert Lisa Lee Freeman has four big ways retail bankruptcy affects you and what you can do about it. I couldn't be a toys rusket. Number one, gift cards. Spend it. Don't hold on to gift cards. Don't buy any new ones, even if they're tempting to buy because you find them at a discount online. Once bankruptcy is filed, companies don't necessarily have to honor the value of the card. They may become worthless plastic. Next, layaway. My advice is pay up that layaway bill. I wouldn't recommend pulling out of the deal because there probably is going to be a penalty. But just like gift cards, any value you've already put toward your items could be lost. If you can, pay it up fast. Next potential retail fail, warranties. If you've got a warranty purchased through a retailer, look in the fine print and see if it will be honored if the retailer goes out of business. If yours is issued by a third party, you should be okay. But Lisa Lee says warranties are generally not worth it at all. Studies have shown that odds are you're not going to use the warranty. And even if you do, the costs of the repair are probably not going to be much more than what you pay for a, a policy. But if you still want some retail reassurance... Many credit cards now offer extended warranties for free if you pay for the item with that card. And finally, going out of business sales. Just assume everything is final sale. And be sure to buy with credit, not cash or debit. Especially if you're shopping online, because if that item ends up not coming, the credit card will make you whole. Bottom line, if you want your favorite store to stay open, go out and buy from them. Bail for retail fail on the lowdown.